In this video, I'm going to show you how to edit your event calendar on your website using a plugin called the Events Calendar for WordPress. Now, the first thing we need to do is log into WordPress, which we do by going to uh, your domain forward slash WP dash admin. And we'll put in our username and password there. And this brings us to what's called the WordPress dashboard. Now under the dashboard on the left hand side, you're going to see an events option. And if you hover over that, you're going to see a bunch of different things under there. To add a new event, we're going to click add new. Now this is the standard WordPress editor screen. At the top, we have the title field. And this is where we're going to add the title of our event. I'm just going to call this Beginners Yoga Class on May 5th, 2017. This is the basic WordPress editor, and this is where you describe your event. So we've got a couple of options here. We can add pictures to our event description by clicking Add Media. And from there, we can upload pictures, or we can choose pictures from our media library. Um, we can add forms. That's not something you're going to want to do. And you can only do that on certain sites with the Gravity Forms plugin installed anyway. So let's not get into that. Um, we can format our text as basic paragraph text. We can select different levels of headings, or we can make it what's called pre-formatted. So we also have options to bold, italicize, add bulleted or numeric lists, add quotations, um, align our text, add links, and we can get even more if we click the toolbar toggle, which gives us more text editing options. So let's just go ahead and write a basic description for this event. Okay, so there we go. We've got a, a basic description. Now, going down the page, this is the details of the events under the events calendar title here. Um, we can select the date and time on which the event occurs. So we'll choose May 5th, 2017. It starts at 8 a.m. It ends at 9 a.m., let's say, on the same day. Now, if you're creating an event that's an all-day event, you can click that box to have it block off the entire day on your calendar. Uh, venue. Here, if you've created a venue in the past, it will be on the list. And so there I selected Inspire Yoga and Massage Studio, which is the, uh, the business that this website belongs to. If I wanted to create a new venue, I could just type a name. And it's going to give me options here to populate that venue's information. I'm just going to go back and set this to Inspire. Um, you can put the details about the organizer down. Um, it's generally not something I use a whole lot, but it's there if you want it. Um, you can set a separate website for more information about the event that it will link to. Um, and you can specify an event cost. So I'm going to put in the currency symbol, dollar sign, and then $5 for the cost of the event. All right, so that is basically it for creating the event itself. Going back down the page, here is a, another tool that you can use to maximize the SEO benefits of your page. Um, this is called Yoast SEO, and this is a tool that looks at your page content and gives you advice on how to improve it. Um, you can click on what's called a snippet preview. This basically shows you how your, um, how your event will look in Google search results. You can click on that and edit the title, edit the meta description. These um, indicator bars down below will give you an idea of how well you're utilizing the space that Google provides you. So watch as I type that indicator bar goes from orange to green and back to orange indicating it was either too short, just right, or too long. Okay. 
you can set a focus keyword for your page, which helps Yoast SEO understand what the uh, main idea of your page is and helps you optimize the content based on that. Um, that's, that's the basics of um, the Yoast SEO tool. Um, we're not going to get into that in any greater detail. Maybe I'll cover that later. That's more of an advanced topic. Um, going down here, these other tools, you're not going to use a whole lot. Um, let's just ignore those for now. We'll get into them in another video if we need to. So back at the top, here's your publishing options. Save Draft will save your event in draft mode, so it's not live on the website, but it is available for you to edit more later. Preview lets you see what it's going to look like in the live website. Okay. If I go back, um, we'll get into these in more detail in another video. They don't really matter for now. Um, when you're happy with your event, you will click publish and that will make it live on your site. Tags are a way of organizing your content. You could put um, sort of the main ideas of the event in here. I'm just making some stuff up. Um, another way that you can categorize your events is using categories. On this website, they have two different types of classes that they offer that will be on the calendar. So I've created categories for those so people can see when the booty bar classes are running versus when the yoga classes are running. So we're going to select yoga. Um, down below there, event options, hide from event listing. Not sure why you'd want to do this, but that's an option. You can hide it from your calendar. Um, sticky in month view means it will basically be more visible. Featured event is another option. Let's just see what it says here. Featured events are highlighted on the front end in views, archives, and widgets. So there's another option for highlighting your event in search results. You can set a featured image, which is an image that will display on the event page. I'll just go ahead and I'll select this uh, lovely yoga lady. And we'll see what that looks like. There you go, our lovely yoga lady is now on our calendar page. All right. Um, so that's basically it. When I'm happy with my, um, my class, my events that I've added to the calendar, I can click publish and it will be live on the page. And we'll just uh, go back to the class calendar to see what that looks like. Sure enough, beginner yoga class, May 5th, 2017, right there on the calendar and my visitors can click that for details. All right, well, that is uh, pretty much all there is to it. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.